Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Graves Jungle here in Season 14. There's two main ways to path him. You can three camp off of red buff start, just like a Shaco, or you can simply full clear. If you're gonna full clear, get two points in your Q and then get your W at level four. We really should be letting Morgana lead here. So she's gonna set up the snare. All right, so we got them to lay a ward. That's fine. We'll just go start on a red buff. For our runes, you're gonna wanna take Fleet Footwork, Triumph, Lacrity, Last Stand, or Coup de Grasse with free boots, Cosmic, Attack Speed 80, and Health. Scaling HP preferably. You don't need potion. Graves autos push them away and fleet's gonna heal you like crazy. Graves is not particularly good late game, so you have to get a lot done with him in the early game. He doesn't have the best full clears in the game, but he does have good invades, good survivability, and he doesn't really start falling off until the enemy AD carries three or more items. Because Graves auto range is 425, standard AD carry auto range is 550 and up, so he's pretty set for the early game type of play style. Ideally, you do get a leash, but if you don't get one, it's not the end of the world. Since we do farm full health, it's just going to slow down our tempo, is all. Looks like Timo doesn't want a leash, feels bad. He could probably get some pressure down on Jax. We're going to auto E. Auto E is an amazing auto reset. There's a high level of smoothness to it. It definitely takes time, or you can just button mash right after the auto and button mash the E, and you can hit that timing pretty consistently. Then we want to kite the camp over. That way we can start the next one as soon as possible. Get the Q auto E. Your E cancels out pretty much any ability animation. So if you Q and E, it'll be really smooth. So if you auto Q E, it'll feel nice. Graves moves a lot horizontally while he farms because you can line up your, uh, your auto attacks since they're AOE and kind of wipe everything. So horizontally is very important as well as still moving away and kiting it to the next location. We want to focus the big one here. Auto E auto. Should be toast here. One more auto will do it. Nice. We have all of our grit built up. It's not really that important to keep it up just because Graves does farm so healthy. If the enemy jungler does invade you, it can be nice to have. So if there's a Kha'Zix or Rengar waiting in your jungle, so if you see, for example, Kha'Zix or Rengar takes Ignite, there's, there's a chance they'll invade you if they're crazy. All this grit is giving us an extra 16 armor. That's actually incredibly nerfed, but still, 16 armor is better than nothing. You'll have the highest armor value out of really any champion early game other than Rammus. Auto E auto. You should actually do Gromp in the blue. It can help with uh, your full clear cycles a bit. That's all right. I'm just going to continue to full clear here. Because we're more focused around level 6 timing than we are, oh, having our blue buff up slightly sooner. Because we don't even really need blue. Auto E auto. Should have kited it out. So we finished roughly 325. Not the fastest, not the slowest, but we are extremely healthy and we didn't get a leash whatsoever. Should have pulled Gromp out a bit. Most ganks were going to lead in with a raw W. Auto QE. I'm on Ghost, so I'm moving very fast. We don't want his minions to block me. Get red buff autos on Bard. Auto E auto. Nice, we get the double. That's huge. Glad Vayne let me have it, if, assuming that's what she did on purpose. Could have stayed to help her push wave there. If you think their flash is up, a lot of times you will hold on to W for a moment and just pressure on them with red buff autos. It really comes down to how much space you have to chase. Because if their flash is up, a lot of times they'll just kind of flash your W immediately. But if you get red buff autos on them, then you can force their flash, then get a W. Because ultimately, your W slow will be bigger than a red buff auto slow. In this situation, I had so much space to chase. I kind of assumed his flash was down. Since my teammates had already set up a kill, let's push for that Yomu's. Yomu's is so freaking strong right now, guys. It's the best item you can go for on an AD Assassin jungler, whether you're melee or range it's not nerfed on range champions like many overtuned items are whether it's titanic ravenous uh bork hysterics all sorts of items are just eclipsed arbitrarily nerfed on range champs because range champs have the huge auto attack advantage yomu's is not one of those items so it's graves highest win rate first item rush on literally his top 10 builds there's no contest and riot doesn't have it favorited so Although typically the items they recommend to you are good on your character, they're not always optimal or even close to the most optimal. Nice, Timo gets the solo kill. 
auto you auto. We really don't want those small ones to be blocking us. And then we're going to lose our grit. doesn't really matter. So it's going to be farm full health. We see Diana's top side. We could invade her raptors here. We're probably up. Void grubs and dragons come in five minute mark. She might, she's probably on those right now. She can take those AOE. Sloppy. Ugh, I don't like this at all. It's a lot of minions though. Auto W, auto Q. He R's back right onto the Fizz forehead. We're gonna smite a minion. Ooh, Fizz hard missed that. That sucks. I'm just gonna get away from the shield. There's a lot of these guys. Oh, wow, that was a stun. All right. Auto E, auto, auto Q. We get the kill 1v3. It sucks that they get the shutdown. It is what it is, though. Bard got there super early. It counted as a stun, even though it was super far off my hitbox. Can't afford the Yomus. It is what it is. I'll grab a single longsword and head out. She got the Rift Grubs, too. That sucks. She's trying to take my Gromp. Nice Morgana Snare. Diana doesn't even have boots, so she can't really get out of that situation very well. We can definitely take Dragon here. I'm almost six. I'll just grab Gromp real quick. Hit my six, and we're chilling. Echo's pushing again. I didn't want to go mid, but at the same time, if as a team we lose two minion waves and Echo takes two plates, that's kind of rough to allow. As a rule of thumb, you really shouldn't be ganking lanes where you're not going to get a kill out of it. Exposing yourself on the map, it's bad. It's only because I was kind of in the area and it wasn't throwing me too far off of what I was already wanting to do. Still. He's backing off. I'm probably on a ward. Just the fact that I broke two wards over here already. This is ridiculous. His bard stun, it actually counted that. That is insane. That was absolutely wild that it gave him that stun. Can't get our Yomus now. I wasn't expecting to be dying before a kill there. Is what it is. We'll grab a control ward. Take Krug's red. Raps. We'll be able to buy our Yomus. They're just ready for the invade. Bard's permal roaming. Morgana's going to have to start roaming. Ganking Echo is pretty hard at the moment. This Fizz isn't following up on ganks. Echo's getting plates for free. Auto E auto. I would like to be in Diana's jungle more. I just can't be. At least not when I'm near bot side. I can only invade her top side jungle. Bard's giving way too much pressure. Way too much. Red buff, I'll push this in. Auto QE. He knows I'm over here. <clears throat> I'll back off. If need be. I think I have this. Auto QR. <clears throat> yeah, I'm dead though. Couldn't really get away from his Q there. That's unfortunate. I didn't have anything to auto for the fleet speed up in the fleet hill. At least pull Jax, pulled Echo, get a kill out of it. We can get our Yomus now as well. Start building into Collector. I'd like to go for Merc Treads against their team. We'll go ahead, get some more lethality. Put the Yomus speed up. Get right over there into his jungle. Dragon's up, so. Echo finds the solo kill, but he does lose a lot of help at least. And it's not warded. Cool. We'll go ahead and Yomu's early. I'm on a ward now. Get a W on him into Q auto. E auto smite. Bard's right here. He's going to 
portal out somewhere. Oh, he's trying to suicide. Yeah, he got the suicide. We just take drag off that. Okay, he burnt R, so I don't know. Not bad. Let's pull this out. Their mid laner is potentially roaming. Diana's on our right side. Echo's kind of on the left. Diana's not a full item here. I can't push into her jungle because Bard's kind of leaving base and he's going to push over there and I'm going to have to fight 1v2. So even though I'm up items, just with the type of support they're, they're running, it's making it hard to move into their jungle. So instead we'll just focus on ganking instead of invading. Having lane prow is a huge aspect of how successful your invades will be because Graves is able to solo the vast majority of jungle champions consistently early game. Not 1v2 though, not 1v3. That's why he's kind of risky to first pick. He's just taking this. I can't let him do that. Was not expecting that. And down it goes. She's taking grubs again. I'm going to Yomu's on over there. She's going to take these really, really fast. Echo gets the turret. He didn't get the third auto, though. Fizz hard misses at the shark. There's just no reason to use it that early. No clue where this guy is. You know, the auto R, he doesn't die. Diana gets away. Well, at least he gets him. That's better than nothing. Whew, she's getting all those grubs. At least we gotta have drag. That's a shutdown off Echo. I don't think Fizz is gonna be able to do a whole lot with that. I'm going Yomu's into her. Got her flash, that's big. Didn't cost me a lot to get it. And Diana gets the kill rip. I think she's gonna walk into me, maybe she stays for the wave. All right, I'll just E over the wall. She's gonna have to suicide. I'm moving faster than her though. She's gonna walk into mushroom here. Yep. Auto W, put it on me and her. So she's gonna perma slow it, auto E auto. Down she goes. Go ahead and stay to push this. A lot of times on a grave, soaking minions helps you with your snowball every time. So if you get a successful killer gank, shove the wave, take what you can. It's best to try to let your laners get the last hit, but at the end of the day, gotta get it pushed. Jax went missing Just for a little bit there. Their mid laner went missing ish. Bard's in my jungle. Their mid laner popped this vision plant over here. That's cool. Just casually waiting in my jungle. Fizz throws out another random R. I think, don't know if he's actually landing a single one of those. Kind of just throws him out. He's going, going fishing with his big old fish. And now we're at Collector. Third item against their team. Definitely looking to be Shilbo or Ma. Third item is highly situational. Just depends on what you need. Keep playing Draxel Wincon. They're going to take Herald again. I, it's really tough to deal with Echo. As a jungler, you're always going to be two to three levels behind the top and mid around kind of the 10 minute mark, especially if you're not super far ahead like I am. With Echo being ahead and him being in my jungle, it's kind of rough. This Fizz isn't even really pushing the wave to force Echo out of hiding. No clue where Diane is at. I assume Echo's back to spend his massive gold pile though. Auto E auto. Yeah, Ma's definitely the what we need to win. Jin's behind. They don't have a very good source of attack damage outside of Jin. Jax is behind as well by a lot. that up it looks like we got something top lane shaping up here 
Get a W right there where he wants to hide. Auto Q. Got it. Now we take turret. I don't care if Teemo wants to freeze it. We kind of need to just get things pushing. Oof. He's trying to get his third hits off. Ooh, got him. You're dead. <laughs> they got greedy. Echo is holding R for as long as possible. He needs to hit you with three separate attacks to get his big passive speed up. And he couldn't find it there. So it left him stranded with no escape option. Timo did a good job kiting it. We'll go ahead and get inside. It does more damage this way. And we launched it right in the wall. Very cool. It can't turn very fast at all. It's like Nunu Snowball, but the turn radius is much slower. You have to be really careful what you, where you put your cursor when you go inside of it. Because you'll end up angling it the wrong way and wasting it. But if you have your cursor in the right spot, it will end up doing more damage. So as you see, the charge was wasted. And when it, you're inside of it and it hits the turret, it launches you back with a massive shield as well. Moral of the story is when you're going in the Herald, have your cursor in the correct position. And don't get too fancy with the turns, because his turning power is absolute crap. That's coming from someone who's played thousands of games of Nunu. If you think Nunu snowball turnings, <laughs> it's kind of weak. Harold will really surprise you. Just how weak turning can be. It's probably on the same lines of a Scion R. Very similar to that. All Yomu's to get over here. Teemo did not get out of where he needed to get out of, though. Are we auto in the queue? It's a really early black shield. We're not going to be able to stay on top. I say we pull this out, though. Why, why is Bard in there? He was just in drag. He flashed out. He's got a stun coming down. Wow, these Bard Suns are absolutely brutal. Auto our auto. Jin's here. I can't really do much. <clears throat> we got two of them. Every Bard Stun seems to connect. It's so freaking brutal. <clears throat> That's a drag, though. They played heavy for Grubs. Weren't able to do too much with it. Since our bot lane was somewhat winning. And our top lane was winning. The grubs are only good if your teammates can hit, you or your teammates can hit turrets. And if you're not able to do that at that time, it doesn't do much because it's only extra damage against turrets. Plus a big XP boost when you first take it. It's like a half a level. I think they have been nerfed. We need to go back and spend our gold. As long as we can stay alive, we win the game. If I die though, we have so much bounty gold, we... There's a good chance we'll lose. The Jin scaling, Echo scaling, Jack scaling is going to be really rough with a Fizz. With the Fizz Teemo. Let's go for Mercs and then we'll push Ma. After Ma, you can really go for lots of things, but I'd say Shield Bow if you didn't have Ma is what you want. Basically a Shield item third or a Health item. So here we'll go Black Cleaver. It doesn't let you stack Shield Bow plus Ma because they're both considered lifeline items. So if you're ever wondering, well, what item's overpowered? It's basically items that have a very sneaky effect that's hard to calculate. So a Ma Shield popping, a Steric Shield popping, a Shield Bow Shield popping. It throws people really hard because they think they're about to kill you and then you don't die. That's why they don't let you just keep stacking them because you'd be impossible to kill. W Auto QE. Got him with the R, the uh, auto E auto, got him with smite, get him with an auto Q auto. Collector's doing a lot of value there, man. You can see it popping off. When we hit Echo with our R, it wouldn't have killed him, but since he's 5% health or lower, the Collector's what actually killed him there. And they quit. Things were starting to get rough for us in the early game, but as you keep hitting your item power spikes, it gets so much easier. Let's look at damage dealt, damage taken, or runes. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we did have the most in the game. Damage taken, we had the most in the game. 
self mitigated we had the most on our team and for runes high value all in all graves is a fantastic early mid game character i think if yomu sustains heavy nerfs we'll see graves drop dramatically or if it's nerfed on range champion specifically but for now he is very solid if you guys enjoyed this graves video let me know what champion you want to see down in the comments below my name is king sticks thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time